Hello guys, thank you for watching this video on 7 segment displays with the Arduino. I'm going to really quickly rush through this, but all you'll need is a 7 segment display, 220 ohm resistors, or just pretty much any resistors I use, some jumper wires, the Arduino board, a USB cable, and a computer running the Arduino IDE. Okay, let's have a look at the 7 segment display then. All 7 segment displays, just like this, dim is to show different numbers and if you have more than one seven segment display you can show more digits of numbers so like that's two digits that's three digits as you can see and they have ten pins on the back the ones in the middle you apply ground to and then the other two each side of each side you light, you send voltage to them depending on which of these LEDs you want to light up to make different numbers for example if you wanted to light up that, that and that to make a 7, you would turn on that one, that one and that one. I'll just demonstrate this now. So on, you want to just um, wire up the two middle ones to ground like I've done here. Right. And then um, you'll want to just put all three... I'll start from scratch. Right, so you want them going to ground, of course, through a 220 ohm resistor to prevent the, um, the bulbs from breaking. And then I'll just quickly demonstrate what I mean. So look, for two either side, I put it in the wrong place. Sorry about that. I'll just quickly move it to the right place. This breadboard's a bit stiff because I haven't used it yet. That, so I'll light up that one if I put uh, 5 volt on that one, then that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, as you can see. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire 5 volts to a place in my breadboard and then put it going to there. And... Sorry, that's a male to female. And then also having it going to there. And then finally, if I can just find another wire, there we go. Have it going to there. No, not there. There. There we go. Makes a seven. And you can make different combinations. If I lighted up all of them, besides the decimal point, I'd have an eight. If I was to light up just that one there and took this one out, we'd have a one. If I move that one to there, we'd have a one and then a decimal place. Sorry, if I, no, if I moved it to there, we'd have a one and a decimal place. So you can kind of see how it works. Now you might want to control the ones that are lit up by using digital pins. In that case, you'll just want to wire them. Get rid of that, of course. You'll just want to wire them to digital pins. And if I wanted to make a seven... So you want, you'd want to wire all of the pins to digital pins and then you'd send that voltage of the different pins depending on what combination of letters you want to light. So then here I've started just writing a piece of code on a piece of paper. At the top I've just declared three variables for three different pins I've wired a seven segment display um, to on the Arduino. I'm only wiring up the three pins to make a seven and I'm going to send out voltage of them three pins. Uh, but you want to wire up all of them and then send up voltage of the ones you want to. But here we go. 7 seg 1 equals 2, 7 seg 2 equals 3, 7 seg 4, 3 equals 4. Then in the void setup, we need to set them all as outputs. So, same here. 7 seg 2 output. And then... And then 7... Seg three output. Just close that off, and then avoid loop. Just will run forever. That'll just run once. And um, what we want to do is we want to use digital write, and digital write will simply send out voltage of a pin. Then you'd say seven seg one uh, high. Same for next one, digital. 
seven seg two high and then for the final one at digital right seven seg three high okay so that's uh, fairly simple that's what you have to do what's on the back of here oh. anyway that's what you have to do if I wanted to do the same but to make a one instead I would just simply change it so that we don't we move that one to there if I'm doing it my way but if you're doing it the normal way where you just wire up all the pins you just send voltage to that out of the pin that that's attached to instead of that one up here Anyway, that's it for today. That's just very briefly showing you how seven segment displays work. By the way, there is also a library you can get, which will help you a little bit. It saves doing all this. There is a way that you can do all this using arrays and functions and stuff, but I haven't gone into detail about that today. I'll go into detail about that maybe some other time if I do a sequel to this video. I'm explaining a bit more. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope it's given you a little introduction to 7 segment displays and I'll see you next time.